Trust me, I know. I just have to run a few errands and then I'll be home. <laughs> okay, I love you too, crumb cake. Bye. Who was that? You remember Barry Ann Trent? The goblin shark from your shark video? Oh yeah. Well, things are getting pretty serious between us and I think I'm gonna, you know, pop the big question. Oh my gosh. You're gonna ask her what kind of peanut butter she likes. I bet she likes creamy. No! Crunchy! Maybe it's a pants question. Or if she grows beans. Or what came first? Butter or butterflies? What? No, stop! I'm gonna ask her to, you know. I'm sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. What did you say? One more time? Marry me! Uh, I'm sorry, Andy. You're cool and all, but I kind of like you as a friend. Besides, I... No! I'm going to ask Marianne Trench, the goblin shark, to marry me. Really? You're going to need a diamond ring. Just so happens, I have the perfect place. Oh, I got a great spot. Hit up Diamond Dance on West 47th Street. Ask for Giorgio. Tell him Stevie Green Eyes sent you. No, Andy's future wife is going to need something much, much bigger. So where are we headed? A place with more diamonds than anyone has ever seen. We're going to... Very diamondy at all. Yeah. It looks like a ball of chocolate. Well, even though it looks like chocolate, it definitely isn't. Meet 55 Cancri E. It's an exoplanet that's about 40 light years away from Earth. If astronauts were to travel as fast as they did in the Apollo 10 mission, which was about 24,790 miles per hour, it would take them over 10 quintillion years to get there. Whoa. Exoplanets are often given names that match the stars they orbit. My name's Jeff, and this is Jeff Jr. and Jeff the Third. What? For example, the star that 55 Cancri E orbits is 55 Cancri A, or it's even sometimes called Copernicus, after the famous astronomer. I look like the bad guy from Shrek. Huh? This star is actually really similar to our own sun. Woo! There were five exoplanets discovered that orbit 55 Cancri A, and they were all given letters to match their star. But recently, a new name was given to this exoplanet, Janssen, after Zacharias Janssen, who played a major role in the invention of the telescope. What's even more weird is that the system that Janssen is in likely has at least two suns. This Zacharias Jansen dude gets an exoplanet. Maybe I have a shot at getting one. Yeah, but he helped invent the telescope. All you do is sit in front of a green screen with a puppet. You got a point. Yeah. So go back to that word exoplanet. What is that? Is that like a, an extra large planet? A spicy planet? A planet made of mayonnaise? No, not even close. An exoplanet is any planet that is not in our solar system. Most of them orbit other stars, but there are some called rogue planets that are free-floating and orbit the galactic center. The first exoplanet was discovered in the 1990s, and since then, over 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered, and there are potentially billions and billions more out there. Whoa! Enough for the chit-chat. Let's make this dude talk. Okay. Hey, Jansen? Hello, this is 55 Cancri E. I love you. What? Uh, wait, what? Oh, I mean, uh, hello, this is uh, 55 Cancri E. I love you. You just said that. I did? Oh, uh, I mean, hello, this is 55 Cancri E. How can I help you? And I love you. Whatever. I don't even know where to start. You're a diamond planet. That's just so cool. Yeah. I'll start. Hey, Jansen, any chance you play Minecraft? I don't even know what that is, but I love you. It's a shame. We could make some cool armor and weapons out of you. Ooh. You're supposed to ask him for a diamond ring, not Minecraft. Oh, right, but wait a second. You don't even look like a diamond. What's the deal with that? Yeah. Well, I may not look like a diamond, 
There is likely plenty of them under my surface. You take one look at me, and immediately you notice the bright red glowing light. That's because I'm extremely hot. I'm about 1.4 million miles from my star. That's 25 times closer to the sun than Mercury. Since I'm so close to my star, it only takes me about 18 hours to go around it. Meanwhile, it takes Earth 365 days to go around its star. I can reach temperatures of nearly 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's over five times hotter than Venus. Not cool. Which is the hottest planet in the solar system. I'm also tidally locked to my star. What? Which means one side faces my sun at all times. Bing. Meaning I have a day side and a night side. Experts believe that my day side may be covered in an ocean of lava. While my night side would have volcanoes and lava that is hardened. Bing. But even though I may not look like I'm made of diamonds. You'd have to dig a little deeper to find them, as they're likely deep within me. Experts believe that I am rich in carbon, much of which may be in the form of diamond, as a result of the temperature and pressures in my interior. If you were to mine all the diamonds on me, it would equal roughly 30 in a million dollars. What? That's about 64 quintillion times more than all of the money Jeff Bezos Elon Musk and Bill Gates have combined. Whoa, that's a lot of monies. What do you say we scoot on down there and get some diamonds? You know, like a souvenir. Like I told you earlier, it's extremely hot here. You'd melt it to nothing instantly. I don't know, it kind of sounds worth it. Trust me, it's not. You'd die a horrible, horrible death. Yeah, but we'd have diamonds. Yeah, but you'd be dead. Dead? With diamonds? No, for real, it isn't even worth it. Yeah. Now, trust me, there's no way you can... <sighs> Stop! There's no way you can land here. He's right. While you can't land there, it would look amazing if you could. 55 Kangri E is commonly referred to as a super earth. A super earth is a planet whose mass is greater than Earth's, but less than that of Uranus and Neptune. 55 Kangri E's mass is eight times greater than Earth's, and it's nearly two times wider. Given the greater mass it has than Earth, its gravity is two times stronger. If you weighed 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh about 214 pounds on 55 Kangri E. I really gotta quit eating garlic bread for breakfast. What? But another interesting fact about this exoplanet is that it likely has an atmosphere that is similar to Earth's, but thicker. Silicates in the atmosphere would condense into clouds on this planet's dark side, reflecting the lava below, so the skies would sparkle. Wow, this exoplanet sounds incredible. I know! And there are so many other exoplanets to go out and discover. Uh-oh, Andy, are you getting cold feet? Nope. My feet are kind of warm, actually. No, I meant are you second-guessing marrying the Goblin Jar? Oh, no! You know what? I'm a young guy. What do you say we push the marriage thing off for a little bit? We can explore some exoplanets instead. Yeah. Fine by me. Uh-oh, look who's calling. Oh, no. Hey, uh, Jansen? I love you. I know, but any chance you can take this call for me? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Hello, this is 55 Kankra E. I love you. <laughs> Five days later. I now pronounce you exoplanet and disgusting monster. What? You may kiss the bride. Just when I thought these videos couldn't get any weirder, we go ahead and do this. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. As always, this video couldn't be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon. Especially, Amador Baggerly, Ella Loves Chicken Parmesan, Vivi and Jojo Roche, Maxwell M, Avery L, Evan Lee, Nadia and Hannah, Marlo Reynolds and Henry the Leprechaun King, Ada S, Dora and Levi, Henry Pavelko, Emma Kennedy, Tobin and Nina, Lillian and Davis Sozin, Buddy Deese, Ethan Grainer, Carter, Levi and Fletcher, The Peterson Pack, Jameson and Nolan, Connor and Emma B, The Gauker Family, Charles and Olivia, Cara and Michael, Matthew and James Mondiello, Creative Devin and Zach T, Oshi, 
Asher Jacobson, Timmy C, Rory, Jack and Easton Hess, Rowan Scheibels, Nakia Swift, Nora Close, Grayson Kristoff, Rebecca Beanie, Stephen McPhee, Brenton and Cosette, Mika, Jordan and Maya, Elizabeth P, Kai Kim, Evan Gray, Amelia and Alan Mills, Asher S, Dean Scandalakis, Jack and Colt Skinner, Aiden Judah, Aiden Swift, Rory Quinn, Isaac Scranton and David Beckham, Julian Isaac Stanton Holman, Greg Matlock, Zeno the Shark, Leah and Gavin Clark, Jordana and Aaron, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Oliver from Ottawa, Gwen, Iggy, Elowin and Addie, Emma Mahalis, Quinn Price Robertson, Felix and Casper Watson Smith, Asher Evans, Elijah Robert, Noah Chin, Callum G, GC, Megan Chu, The Rivard Boys, Connor LeCoque and Family, Ollie and Cami, Porter, Isaac and Wesley Pierce, Liam and Matthew Muzzo, Aria and Kieran, Carrie, Billy and Mora, Luke, Henry Q and Stacy Q, Grant and Ara Brown, Riker Y, Gavin Meidel, Harry, Leif Anderson Miller, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Mrs. Esslinger's fourth grade class, the Colorado Casalanos, James Berg Pfeiffer III, Aiden Fenway Riley, Xander and Lucinda, Jordan Montgomery, Arthur Watson, Logan Turner, Rebecca and Sarah F. from Pennsylvania, Wyatt Michelle, Wesley C., Lennon McCutney, Jones Page, Avalon and Cash, Lizzie, Dean and Trevor, Autumn McBottom and Beeg Sauce, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Solomon and Chandler in Oregon, Santi Barajas, Kate and Sarah, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Isley and Jude Siegel, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Simon, Natalie and Liam McNulty, Renko, Kosya and Yaro, Steve Kelly. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my behind the scenes clips and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, you can now get custom video messages from Steve or Andy through Cameo. Check the description box for a link. And like all my videos, I've hidden the secret coupon code in this one too. It's red and has a hashtag symbol before it. Try to find it. If you do, you can get money off on stuff from my Teespring store like this, this, or this.